So at Mr. Tower's second period English class, the Mickey Mouse Club. Next. The following presentation is closed caption for the hearing impaired. Club. It's Hall of Fame Day, and we're going to meet a teenage ice skating champ and a 15-year-old songwriter. And you'll see the next episode of our club movie, Teen Angel Returns. But first, have you ever applied for an after-school job? Well, here's a job you won't want to take. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. How much longer is it going to take? I, I do have another appointment. It'll be a few more minutes, but Mr. Simon says to sit down, and he'll be with you as soon as he can. Uh -oh. Sit down, miss. <laughs> stand up. Mr. Simon, do not say stand up. I'm afraid we can't use you, but thank you for coming. Please go. Uh -uh. Mr. Simon did not say go. <laughs> Sit down, please. Mr. Simon did not say sit down. Stand up. Mr. Simon did not say stand up. You're hopeless. Beat it. Uh, Mr. Simon did not say beat it. Okay, okay. Forget it. Forget it. I don't want this job anymore. Stand up. Stand up. Mr. Simon says, stand up. Take one step forward. Mr. Simon says, take one step forward. <laughs> Mr. Simon says, hop like bunny rabbits. <laughs> Stop. Very good. <clears throat> May I help you? I have an appointment with Mr. Simon. Just a moment, please. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Simon. Your two o'clock appointment is here. <laughs> All right. He'll be right out, but Mr. Simon says, would you please be a chicken? Certainly. And Mr. Simon would <laughs> like for you two to act like monkeys. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Pendergrass, what is the meaning of this? Why is this woman acting like a chicken? But Mr. Simon, you uh -huh. said... Fooled you. I did not say Mr. Simon says. Mr. Simon says you're fired. Get but out. Mr. Simon! Mr. Simon says everybody out of here. Just a moment, Mr. Simon. I'm here to inform you that your company has been taken over by Mother May I Incorporated. Let me see. <laughs> What do you say? More than may I see that? <laughs> yes, you may. More than may we stop acting like monkeys? Yes, you may. 
So there was another man I go home and take a nap? Yes, you may. Mother, may we clobber Mr. Simon with throw pillow? Yes, we may. Yes! Yeah! Cut it out! Stop! Mr. Simon said stop! Now it's time for singing in the street. Our club camera went to the Disney MGM Studios theme park at Walt Disney World and looked for kids to sing old time rock and roll. Here it is as it's never been heard before. Just take those old records off the shelf. I sit and listen to them by myself. Today's music ain't got the same song. I like that old time rock and roll. Woo! Gotta take me to a disco. You'll never even get me out on the floor. In ten minutes, I'll head straight for the door. I like that old time rock and roll. You like that old time rock and roll. That kind of music just soothes my soul. I reminisce about the days of old. With that old time rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It looks like Cindy's plan to give away hula hoops. May have stood up enough business to save the gas station. I hope you're right. Now all she has to do is figure out a way to make Brian notice her. And she's really shy. Yeah, but Buzz is going to cheer her up. Let's watch and see. Buzz, he's wearing sunglasses. Yeah. Indoors. At night. Hey, don't judge a guy by his glasses. Hello. I love you. Won't you tell me your name? Tell me your name. This is Cindy. My name's Tom, which uh, sort of fits me because most people seem to mistake me for uh, Tom Cruise. Well, you do have dark hair. That's good. That's good. Talk to him. Let him know. Listen, what do you say we go on a date sometime? I, I, I know. You're thinking... Tom Cruise is asking me out on a date. Well, look, just, uh, just not. Yes? Or, uh, no. Hey, why don't you just, uh, give me your phone number? Yeah. Heaven help me. Just did. You know, you're real good tonight. I just might let you see me with the uh, out the shades. I can't wait. Yeah. Neither can I. <laughs> Don't worry, he's just, uh, being friendly, that's all. Here, let me show you how to do this. I, I know how to bowl, okay? Yeah, this is my, uh... Special technique. Hmm. And I just let it go nice and easy, okay? Hey, hey! We practice, remember? Don't get caught.
was nice. <laughs> Looks like we're a perfect match. Hey, you know, I love a girl who can bowl. Cause she's got so Mega Major, you just pulled your way into my heart. Breakfast is over. Hyper Mega Major. Buzz, why are some guys such jerks? Tough question. Well, did anyone ever think you were a jerk? Yeah. Was my dad one of them? Yeah. One time. Last time we saw each other. Well, what happened? I'm not sure exactly. That night, me and Judy went over to your mom's house. We used to be best friends with your mom and dad. Anyway, that night they had a big fight. We went over to your mom's house to cheer her up. Pretty quick, I figured the best thing to do was to go and get a hot rod and straighten things out. Your mom didn't want me to go. She thought I'd cause more trouble. Hey, hi, Rod. I was just looking for you. Yeah, sure you were, you jerk. <laughs> and hot Rod never talked again. He joined the army and I joined the angels. He never told me anything about this. You know what made him so mad at you? I sure wish I could find out. And then I could find a way to clear things up. scans the globe looking for kids who do really cool stuff and presents them with the club's top honor, the Mickey Award. Our first Hall of Fame honoree has done something that no other young woman has been able to do in more than 35 years. That's right, Dina. Now, she has won the U.S. Junior Ice Skating Championship for both singles and pairs. But what's really neat is she is the first female since 1954 to compete in the World Championships for both events. Here's 17-year-old Christy Yamaguchi on location at the rink where she practices in San Mateo, California with her coach and skating partner. Second. 
Well, I usually start at 5 a.m., so I have to be up at 4. When I first wake up, I just kind of want to roll back over and go back to sleep, but I know that what I'm getting up and going to do is something that just has to be done to compete at the level that I do. Good. Hands up. Keep them up. I just remember always loving to go out there and perform, wear cute little costume, you know, and skate to music. I just, I just loved it. Maybe it's my dedication to the sport. I mean, I love skating and love competing, going to competitions and everything. And I just don't mind putting out the work for it. Don't make any noise here. Light. Now soften your knees on this. Good. And stretch and bend. Good. Get a nice knee bend. Good. Good. And big here. I've missed out on like a normal high school life. Going to football games and you know, stuff like that. But I don't mind, you know, making those sacrifices because I feel through skating and I've gained so much more. Christy was the first woman since 1954 to represent the United States in two events at the World Championships. I've been doing single band pairs for about six years now and I just really like doing both. They're both so different. <laughs> Pair skating is probably one of the most dangerous aspects in figure skating. So there have been a few accidents, but nothing too, too major. We probably have more like a brother-sister relationship. I mean, because we've gone through the teen years together. So, um, I mean, we know each other really well and pretty good friends. Yeah, definitely there's life after skating. Hopefully I want to go to college and graduate and have a normal life. <laughs> I know the real her. And she hasn't changed even though she's becoming a star. <laughs> My friends have been great. If anything, they've been very supportive and been pushing me all the way. Our next competitor from the United States of America I get nervous before every competition. You know, you kind of worry about how you're going to look out there, or what's going to happen. I think the crowd's pretty important. I mean, when, if you're out there skating and you could feel them really behind you, then it kind of gives you an extra little burst of energy and you want to skate for them. The Olympics have always been a dream. If you have a dream, I'd say go for it and do all the hard work that it takes to reach that dream because it would all be worth it. Thanks guys, I love my Mickey. She makes it look so easy. Christy, congratulations on your Mickey Award. Our next Hall of Fame guest actually wrote us a letter asking if we would consider him for our Hall of Fame. He explained he's a composer and sent along a tape of some of the songs. And it was great. Now, before we introduce 15-year-old Matthew Sklar, we'd like you to hear one of his songs. Here's Jennifer singing Tomorrow is Calling. Yeah. Tomorrow is calling to me and you Now we can go back as we start something new Now our lives are changing Not so simple anymore Trouble is how to figure out what we're searching for Just think of all that we
the trouble lives out to figure out what we're searching for. That was great, Jennifer. Really nice song. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the person who wrote this song. Please welcome Matthew Sklar. All right. Thank you. Hi. 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 So Matthew, how does it feel to be here to, to hear your song being performed on the Mickey Mouse? Oh, it feels great. Really? Yeah. And you wrote this song for your junior high class. Oh uh, yes. Uh, my junior high school music teacher uh, asked me to write a song about how I felt about graduating and moving on, and um, it's what I came up with, and we performed it a couple times at the end of the year. That's really good. Yeah. Right? So let's see, Matthew, how many songs have you written? Uh, about um, twenty or thirty. But um, but this is the first one that's been performed professionally. Really? So how do you go about writing a song? Do you write the lyrics first or the music? Well, it's much e easier to write uh, music to fit lyrics. But just in case a melody pops into my head or something while I'm in school, I usually carry in a notebook with a uh, music pad in it, and I usually just jot things down if they come to me. So what do you want to do with your music? Well, I'd really like to become a, a composer and arranger of movies and Broadway shows. Well, we hope someday that you'll earn an Oscar for a movie score. But in the meantime, we would like to present you with this Mickey Award. Matthew Sklar, welcome into our Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing such a wonderful job in my song. You're welcome. You're very good job. Now, if you or someone you know does something really neat, let us know. Just write us a letter like Matthew did. Write it to Hall of Fame, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney, MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. See you real soon. Why? Because we like you. National Car Rental is the official car rental of Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and the Mickey Mouse Club. National Car Rental features GM cars like the Pontiac Transport SS.
Monday is music day, so get ready to jam with the Jets as they sing their new hit. Next Monday on the Mickey Mouse Club.